Hi guys, Jim. Right, okay, so I'm going to do a video on um, what the aims are for this year, uh, where we want the business to go, where we want um, uh, the YouTube channels to go, um, various other things. Um, I've been saying on a couple of videos there's some changes um, that I'm planning to make to uh, the YouTube channel uh, specifically. There's also changes we want to make to um, our online selling and reselling. Um, it's not going to stop, that's for sure. What are the plans in terms of reselling? Let's start with that. That's the main reason that my YouTube channel is here. That's the main reason uh, I'm here because that's what I do. That's my job. Um, for this year, um, well, firstly, last year. Last year was was very, sorry, a dart. Just fell out my dartboard over the inside of the room. That was a bit random. Um, last year was very, very successful. Um, we had good sales throughout the year, pretty much, except for the period about uh, middle of January to uh, March, April, which was very low. Um, I don't know why. There was also a bit of a slump in September, August, September, mainly because I was on holiday for three weeks and I just didn't put the, put the time in. But sometimes you have to have a break. Um, but overall, really pleased with last year. Um, I say we did, we, we made some good money, we made some good figures, um, but it's not the sort of figures that we want. Um, we want more. Um, I suppose everybody wants more, but I know there's the capacity within the business, within my reselling model, if you like, to make a lot more uh, money. So this year, we're going to um, change a few things in terms of the business. Um, the biggest one will probably be Amazon. Um, we've tried Amazon before, FBA, um, but I made the mistake of selling smaller valued items. Um, so items for under a fiver, for instance. I uh, sent loads of them off to Amazon. Most of it was golf stuff, golf tees, golf, uh, golf balls, things like that. Small value. And don't get me wrong, a lot of them sold. I sold an awful lot of stuff. But because of the fee structure on Amazon, we didn't make any money at all. Um, in fact, overall, we probably made a small loss because I decided to stop using Amazon and they still had loads of my products. So I had to pay for them to be returned, um, which costs cost money. Um, so overall, I think Amazon was a bit of a fail, but not because um, it was nothing to do with Amazon themselves, nothing to do with their um with, with, with FBA etc we sent the wrong goods we sent the wrong items so we're going to um, hit Amazon again um, FBA again um, but when this time we're going to concentrate on some more valuable items um, so we actually make some money um, board games for instance um, you can get a massive premium for some board games on Amazon um, more, a lot more than you can get on eBay. So if we send them off, um, hopefully that will bring some money coming in. New products, obviously you've seen me um, doing some RA at various places in the past. I'm going to do a bit more of that, but send um, a lot more stuff to Amazon. Um, so that should be hopefully some um, some 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 changes and hopefully some decent videos as well should come out of it as well for the YouTube channel. Um, other things we're hoping to do this year possibly um, relocating the business to its own uh, space. Um, obviously, I currently work at home. I'm home at the moment. Um, we've got a shipping container storage unit um, over a few miles away down the road, and I've got a big double garage at the top of my garden where I store um, the majority of the stock um, that's currently on eBay um, or is being processed to be put on eBay. The plan is, outside of the business, is for me, I want to move house this year. Um, we're, we're planning on doing that, we've been planning on doing it for a while, but it means I'll be losing my big double garage. Chances are I might not get a similar space um, when I move. So it might be time to look for somewhere to um, house the business from, if you like. That could be a storage unit that allows you to work from that unit could be office space um, it could be an industrial type unit it depends you know what comes up and it and at the end of the day it depends on cost doesn't it that, that's what most of us um, are, are 
you know, resellers are, are, are concerned about is the bottom line. And if it's not going to be financially viable, then it's not going to be done. But it's something that I think will um, help the business in terms of I um, sit at home, um, I'll go charity shopping most days, I'll come home and then the stuff will just sit there. I don't process it straight away. I tend to get sidetracked with other things going on in the house, whether it be chores or um, the TV or, or the, the Xbox or, or what have you. You know, so I think that having somewhere to go to um, run the business from and do the work from will help. It, it's more like it's more like going to work, if you like. It's time away from yeah, yeah, the, the normality of being at home. Um, and it's, um, I think it could benefit us. I think I'll put more hours in, I think we'll do more work, and I think that'll make us more products, um, profit, you know, make us more profit in the, in the long run, make us more viable. Um, so that's a possibility coming up for this year. Um, as I mentioned, Amazon, we're also gonna um, try to increase eBay. Um, we've got some ideas for some new, new product lines that we're gonna start looking for. A lot of that has come from um, other YouTube videos, as I'm sure people use my videos to get ideas uh, of stuff to buy. Um, we're obviously, con we started off in just gaming stuff. Now we're in gaming, clothing, sporting goods, um, electronics, um, shoes, ice skates, car parts, everything. Um, but I, there's a few more bits I want to get a bit more specialised in. Um, so that's something to try and do this year. Um, sourcing options also needs to change. That's another point that we need to change um, up this year. Um, obviously, our primary um, stock comes from car boot sales. It does for a lot of um, eBay resellers. Um, and it also comes from charity shops. Now, there are... There's another dart just falling out of the dart board. This is weird. I think we've got a darting ghost in the room. <laughs> um, yeah, where was I? Um, a, 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 another option I want to go into, if you want an explore, is auctions. Um, I'm not aware of many that are around my local area that I can go to. There are a couple, so I think I'm going to start trying to go to them. See, just go to them and see, uh, you know, see the, what the deal is, see what you can pick up, and maybe try and get into auctions and get a bit more from them. Obviously, storage units. You've seen me. I've picked up our first storage unit now. I'm going to try and get a few more of those. Um, that's a good uh, stock finder and, and then anything else I can do to try and expand. Uh, I've made some contacts in various places so hopefully they can work out a bit more but increase the sourcing options, increase the stuff that's coming in, that'll increase the stuff that's going out and we'll make, we'll, we'll, we'll make more money. Um, so that's it in terms of the business. Obviously we're, I'm happy with how it's going at the moment. We, we, uh, we earn enough money for me to be full time but I think in the long run, Stu would also like to be a um, full-time reseller. So hopefully this year we can start looking into that as well. Now, in terms of the YouTube channel specifically, I am, or we are going to be making a couple of changes to, to YouTube. That is not, don't worry, I am still going to continue doing my um, haul videos, my how to do this videos, my... Um, reselling videos all of them out they're not going to decrease they're going to increase if anything um going to maybe do some more um sort of more in-depth stuff on specifics but um you know it, it, they'll still be the same the people that you know i know that there's a fair amount of people out there who enjoy watching our videos they will still continue but alongside that there will also be some um, different videos coming up on the channel as well um, what we're going to do, they are still reselling related and um, they're not as specific maybe as the haul videos, charity shop videos, etc. But we're going, mainly going to concentrate on, on other areas of, that we have interests in and try and tie them in with reselling because we do um, do those things as well. Now, for me personally, I'm going to do um, some more content surrounding golf clubs. Um, we used to buy tons and tons of golf clubs, and to be honest, we still do. Um, but I buy big job lots now. Um, now, what I want to do is try and do some um, specific golf um, content, whereas I've got my very own golf clubs. They are actually sat here right next to me. Um, I play golf quite regularly. 
Um, but I, what I want to do is, is I go to a car boot, I buy golf stuff, and then take that golf stuff to the driving range or a golf club, golf course, play with the clubs, and we see how they are. We rate them so I can give people advice on golf clubs to look out for, how to, for people who play golf like myself, um, advice on, on, on equipment that you can pick up secondhand at car boots, etc. And also, in terms of reselling, how much I spend on these golf clubs and how much I sell them for. So there is going to be a reselling uh, twist on those videos, but it is going to be predominantly to do with playing golf. I love playing golf. That's one of my major hobbies. Um, so, you know, that's going to be possibly become, well, become part of the, of the channel. Also, Stu's going to do some more videos, again, reselling related. But we're going to start off with some specific Lego videos. Um, Stu um, well, used to be a really, really big collector of Lego. Um, he's still got a fair amount. <laughs> um, but we obviously, we, we sell a fair bit of Lego when we can. It's a very tight market, to be fair. It, obviously, at car boot sales, if anyone pulls out some Lego, it's <laughs> gone. People are on you. But we do buy it sometimes and we do make money from it. Um, so what we're going to do is some reviews of um, Lego sets to look out for. Um, reviews on minifigures and how much they're worth in specific areas, whether it be Star Wars minifigures, um, Harry Potter minifigures, etc. Ones to look out for, ones that can make you money. Um, what to look out for when you're looking at job lots of Lego or individual sets. Things like that. So there will be a re again a reseller twist on it because it'll be how much money you can make from this. But it will also be bringing in some of our other interests. Um, but it will always be from the slant of a reseller. Um, now, OK, some people aren't going to like those sort of videos. They're not going to be of interest to the number of the subscribers, maybe. I, I fully accept that. Um, but I must I must point out uh, standard all car boot charity shop videos will still be ongoing there will be no changes to them well there will be changes to them i'm getting a new camera for starters i've just um started using some decent software for editing so there will be some changes to our videos they will be a lot better um it'll still have me um talking away as ever um but uh there will be some other videos as well you don't have to watch them Please do if you feel free, um, but you don't have to. Um, but there will be obviously always our main content will be reselling, um, and we're always that will always be because that is my full time job. It's used part time job. It's what we do every weekend, etc. And it's what we enjoy doing. It's what makes us money at the end of the day. So there would always be that. Please don't worry about that. But I think it's going to be quite exciting, especially for me. Um, it means I can um, get some enjoyment out of other parts of reselling that you you, you may not see. Um, and especially for me, it'll get me out, get me out and about on a golf course more more often. I'll also be doing stuff possibly on, on, on gaming and more specifics into um, reselling, maybe my trains or something like that. But, you know, it's, it's our channel. We want to use, we want to um, advance it as much as we can. And um, we want a bit of variety on there. Um, obviously, we had a couple of years ago, we started our YouTube. It went really well. But then we stopped um, for a while because we kind of became a bit disheartened with it. Um, are we giving too much information to people who are buying exactly what we want? But then we came around, came back on and decided, no, YouTube's good. It's making us some friends that we, 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 we that, you know, that, uh, that are really good now. It's made us into some markets that we, we, we never expected to go into. And I'll be honest with you, it does, well, not very much, I must point out, but it does give you a little bit of money as well. Um, but not very much, not very much at all. But that can increase if you keep watching all my videos. Um, but yeah, so channel's going to expand a bit. It might not work. If it doesn't work, I'll just stop doing the, the, the videos. I'll get rid of them and we'll just carry on just with our reselling stuff. Not a problem for me, but I just think it's somewhere that there could be some opportunities for me. And, um, you know, I'm at the, you know, I want to enjoy some stuff as well. It's not all work, work, work. There is some enjoyment to be had in life. So um, let's try and, you know, put that reseller slant on it. And there's the third dart falling out of the dartboard. This is... 
Oof. Up. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Yes. I, you know, I've completely forgotten where I was now. But yeah, we'd always carry on with with, with this. Um, we enjoy it. I'm hoping to do some more live streams and get involved in some of that side of it. I know that's quite a big part of some of the resellers uh, channels that are out there. You know, I, I'm I'm free if anyone wants to have me on on another channel or if anyone wants to come on here as a guest, just just drop me a message. No problem at all. Um, I'm a rather um, pleasant guy. I get on with most people and, and I'm more, more than willing to give as much, well, as much information as, as, as I can on, on what's successful for us and how we've made, or, or at least I have made a, a, living, a, a living out of this and uh, how I continue to do so. So maybe that's something as well for the future. So yeah, exciting times ahead for the Extreme Booters in terms of expansion, um, in terms of markets, in terms of sourcing, and in terms of our YouTube. Um, I hope you'll stick with us. Um, please continue to, to watch the videos. Um, please continue to offer any, any feedback you have, whether it's negative or positive, I take it all on board. Um, not a problem at all. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's where I think we are for the start of 2020. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a, a really, really good year. Obviously, there's some big things happening this year. Um, hopefully for us with, with moving house, with possibly a business um, premises, if you like, and various other things. So it's going to be exciting and you're going to join me on that um, on this channel. You're going to see how we expand if we can this year, if we're successful and obviously um, how we get on. So look forward to it. I hope you do too. Um, thanks for watching as always, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you on a video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Ta-da.